behind these squares is a puzzle. If you can solve it, you could win the trip of a lifetime as we play Concentration. Here is the host of Concentration, Bob Carroll G's. Yes, welcome to Concentration. The game where you need lots of brain power, memory and concentration. Did you manage to solve our opening puzzle? Let's have a look at it. We've got, <laughs> you're keen, we've got a bull and then et, that's bullet. Then we've got the P and the arrows are pointing to the roof and the gentleman's vest. So it's bulletproof vest. Easy, isn't it? I don't, I can't understand these and I didn't get it. I thought it was loft insulators called P to talk a load of bull. <laughs> we've got two more contestants who want to play concentration. Let's meet them. Jim, nice to see you. Okay, first of all, it's Pearl Stredwick. Where are you from, Pearl? Bridgewater. Bridge. Oh, lovely, down it's there. Fun. And uh, wh what do you do? I'm retired. I'm so you don't look old enough, Pearl. Oh. You're retired. Are you married? I'm glad you said that. <laughs> yes, I'm married to Phil. Any children? Two grown-up daughters, Jill and Joe. And what do you do? What do you do in your retirement? Oh, everything. Really? Whist. Oh, well, we won't go into this, Pearl. <laughs> Whist, flower arranging, oil painting. Flower arranging? My wife does flower. Is that with dry flowers? No. The, oh, you do yeah. the big fancy... Yes. real flowers. All right, real flowers. Sometimes. Competitions. Yeah. Well, you're in one now. Jim, Jim Tobin. Sir. Where are you from, Jim? Newcastle upon Tyne. Ah, grand. All right, and what do you do? I'm a retired civil servant. Oh, really? Yeah. How long were you in the civil service? Forty years. Forty? Mm -hmm. Did you get a big clock? No. Oh, no clock. they're generous, aren't they? And what do you do? Plenty of ticking off, but... <laughs> <laughs> Very good. I hope he keeps this up. <laughs> well, I, I'm an ornithologist, collect stamps, do crosswords, quizzes. OK, well, we've got some uh, lovely birds for you to watch here tonight. I'll explain how the game works. You're to go first because you won the toss earlier on. Behind these squares are pairs of prizes. Now, if you pair two matching squares, you win that prize, and we will show you two bits of the puzzle. Also in there, there are take cards, wild cards, and swap cards, but I'll explain about those later on. Whoever solves the puzzle wins the round. Whoever wins the most rounds goes through to play the global game for that wonderful holiday. Now, one of the prizes in this round, I can tell you, is... An amazing mountain bike. It's hidden somewhere in our first game, Bob, and it's brought to you courtesy of Concentration. <laughs> there you are now. He's one of your hobbies cycling. Do you do any cycling, Pearl? Not at all. Up and moment. down the mountains? Well, you could easily take it up. What about you, Jim? <laughs> Not for a long term. Well, I'm sure you could find somebody if you wanted oh, yeah. to give it to if you win that prize. Do for the Grand Bairn. Oh, the Grand Bairn. All oh, right. Mm. Now, pick a number. It's you, you to start first. Well, let's see. I think I'll take your age first, 21. Thank you very much. If only it were true. That's um, a fondue set. The number of my door, four. And number of your door is number four. That's a swap card. Please remember where you see all these cards and prizes. Pearl. I'll have number one. Number one? Watches. And I'll have the number of my house, 23. 23. We'll all be round later. That's an answer <laughs> phone. OK, Jim, back to you. Let me see. Um, Plenty to go I'll out. take a score, number 20. 20. Briefcase. Hasn't gone yet. And? Nothing's gone yet. Number 10. Number 10. That's some records. <coughs> Pearl? Top of the shop, 25. 25. Silk ties. And I'll have the other corner, number five. Number five. That's the briefcase. Where was the other one, Jim? Oh, I've oh dear. One and five, 15. 15? That's Zero. the mountain bike. Lovely legs, 11. They, well, you'll have lovely legs if you win the mountain bike. No. That's the answer phone. Pearl. Two and one. 21. 21. Fondue set. Wrong one, wasn't it? Number nine. Number nine. Here's the wild card. So where's the natural match for that fondue set? Here's under number 12. That's what you win. A fondue set. We can now reveal three parts of the puzzle. Have a look. It doesn't normally help at this stage. You're right. Not a lot to go at. <laughs> OK. Go for another number. 17. 17. 
Those are records. Have we seen those before? Number eight. Number eight is a take hey. card. Jim, mm, let's get you a prize. Ten, number please. ten. Oh, Records. What a coincidence. Ah. Number sweet 17. 17 are the records. That's what you've got. Well done. Two more parts of the puzzle to reveal. Yes. Will he give you enough clues? What the heck's that thing? <laughs> what the heck's that thing, you said? <laughs> we take uh, one and five, 15. 15? Please. That's the mountain bike. The bike again. And number six. Number six. It's a wild card. You've got the mountain bike. Where's the natural match for that mountain bike? It's on this square. 22, you've got the mountain bike. My word. If, it, if it's a tandem, Pearl and I can go for a ride. If, a, if it was a tandem, you could, but it isn't. It's only got one saddle. You have to sit on your lap. Right. Three more squares to reveal. See if you can solve it. No. Okay, another number from you. Uh, Two and five, please. Twenty-five. 25. Silk ties. And number eight. Number eight is the take card. Pearl. <sighs> Let's try number three. Okay, we'll try number three. Silk ties. And twenty-five. Twenty-five. <laughs> There's the silk ties. A very nice prize. We'll reveal two more parts of the puzzle. Let's see if you can solve it. Who's that chatting up there? Uh, Two no. men. Okay. Another number from you. Unlucky 13. 13. Is a swap card. 18. Number 18. Those are watches. Jim. No, that's up there somewhere. It's all there somewhere. Yeah. Number two, please. Number two is a wild card. Mm, 18, a please. 18. Are the watches. Where's the natural match to those watches? Under number one, ah. you've got the watches. Ah. Three more parts of this puzzle to show you. Can you solve it? No. Everyone's desperately trying. Another number from you. Ah. i take the score again, please. 20. Number 20. A briefcase. Number five. And number five is the briefcase. Very well done. You won the briefcase. Two more parts of the puzzle, see if you can solve it. No, we're out of time on no. that, Jim. Another number. 19, please. The 19. Yeah. That's a golf umbrella. Do you play golf? No. Well, you've got an umbrella. If you get it, if you match it. <laughs> Another number. Number, the right, one right above it, number 14. 14. Is a Ten. take card. Oh, have we seen both the take cards? Number 8. Number 8. Try. Is a take card. And 14. 14 is a take card. What that means the briefcase goes. is that the briefcase goes. Jim's off the briefcase. Oh, and he goes over to Pearl's side of the board. Oh. That's what you've got. Two, those are the rules. Two more parts of the puzzle we see. Can you solve it? No. Out of time. Another number. F four. Number four. Yes. Is a swap card. Number seven. Number seven. Ah, espresso ah. machine. Now then, Jim. Where are we now? I'm lucky for some, please. Thirteen. Thirteen is a swap card. Would you believe that? <laughs> I will if you pick the other one. Number four. Number four is the other swap card. Okay. What that means, Jim, is that you can swap any of your prizes, that's records, mounted mic, or watches, for a pick at one of these three cards. Now, I can tell you, while I shuffle them, that one of these cards is worth a pound, the other one is worth 50 pounds, and the third is worth 100 pounds. So, first of all, it's up to you. Would you like to swap one of your prizes? If so, which one? Records, please. The records, okay. <clears throat> the records go. You still get the mounted mic and the watches. I'll shuffle those once more, point to one of those cards, and we'll see what, what it's worth. That one. <laughs> that one right there. Okay, we'll put the other two down there. Now, you've got rid of, uh, what was it you got rid of? Records. Records. Oh, I don't know how many there were in those records, but uh, you can buy a couple of records, actually, Jimmy. You've got the hundred pounds. Very good. Well, don't thank me. You picked it. We also revealed two more parts of the puzzle. Ooh. Can you solve it? 
Okay, no, we're out of time oh, on that. God. Keep thinking about the puzzle while you give me Na another number. <clears throat> number 16, please. 16. Is the golf umbrella. Now, I've seen that thing before. <laughs> yes, haven't we all? <laughs> 24. 24? No. That's the espresso machine. Pearl, back to you. 23. 23. Is the answer phone. Oh. I've no idea. Number 11. Number 11. Okay. Is the answer phone. <laughs> you and that. <laughs> Two more parts of the puzzle, Pearl. Can you solve it? Gentlemen prefer blondes. Is it gentlemen yeah. prefer blondes? Yes. Yes, it is. Oh, yeah. Well done. What gave you the final clue to that? Well, I, I got it just before, but I thought, my God, I shan't get another pair. Oh, I see. Well, you, so you needed a pair to get it. I'll explain how Pearl did get that. It's the gin and the till, so that's gin till. Then there's a men and pre, and it's pointing to the fur on the Eskimo says, so that's gentlemen prefer the B and the lawn with the DS. Gentlemen prefer blondes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, she said she never got the lawn bit, it was the fur that gave it. Anyway, you've won the first round, you've got lots of prizes. Jim, you're doing well with your prize, including that £100. Who knows who will go through to the global game? Join us to find out in part two. Back to part two of concentration. Pearl is already one game ahead. Uh, Jim, but you've got lots of lovely prizes. It's actually Pearl's turn to go first in this uh, second round. And let's find out what one of the prizes is in this round. A wonderful washing machine waits to be revealed in this game, brought to you courtesy of Concentration. A washing machine. Would that be handy? Very a nice. brand new washing machine. Very nice, yes. Do you do the washing at home, Jim? Washing up. The washing up. Oh. <laughs> Well, this is a washing machine, slightly different. OK, Pearl, it's up to you. Give me a number, please. Well, I'll go from one end to the other. Number one. Number one. And number 25. That's a food mixer and a hammer drill. Oh, no match there. You used to do that in the army. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'll be doing it again in a minute. <laughs> Jim, give me a number. I'll take the garden gate, please. Number eight. Number eight. A food mixer. And... Numero uno. Number, Number one. one. And the food mixer. Oh. You win the food mixer. Yeah. Let's see those two parts of the puzzle. It doesn't normally help at this stage. No. Not at all. Something about cough. <laughs> Something about cough. Give me another number. And lucky for some, and lucky for me, 13. 13. It's a swap card. No, where you are you? You did well with a swap card before. Where are you? Hiding. 19. Number please. 19. That's oh, a slow oh. cooker. Oh. Well, let's try the other corner. 21. 21. A foot spa. That'd be nice there. Very relaxing. Right? Oh, I've never been there. No. <laughs> it's not a place. Oh. You stick your feet in it, Jim, and you turn it on and it sort of vibrates you like that and you go bubbling around. Yes, and it makes your feet feel all tingly and lovely. I tell you what, it's not what you want with a mountain bike. <laughs> well, you're, if, you have, if you ride a mountain bike, you'll need one. No, it's Number five. Number five. Is the oh, swap my... card, Jim? Where was the other swap card? Oh, God, I've lost it. <laughs> it's there somewhere. It is, it is, it is. Thirteen, please. Is it thirteen? That's the swap card number and... Number five. Number five. Ooh. Well done. Five. Well done. We'll have to go. Now, the only prize you've got up there is the food mixer. Would you like the chance of risking that food mixer for a, either getting a pound, 50 pounds, or 100 pounds? We'll go. Yes? Yes. OK, the food mixer goes. I'll swap these about, <coughs> juddle them up. There we go. You did very well last time with yeah. this. Pick a card. I'm here, Jim. Six. <laughs> That one. Not a number of card. <laughs> right. This is the one you want. That's the one you want. Okay, let's have a look. You've lost a food mixer, Jim. Okay, you did so well last time you got the hundred pounds. You've got a pound. Okay. Now we can also reveal two more parts of that puzzle. Let's see if you do any, any good with this. Not a lot of help. Another number from you. Number 
20, please. Number 20 is a clock. Oh, clock that. <laughs> and two little ducks, please. 22, 22 is a radio cassette. Pearl, we're back to you. I'll try one and seven. Seven. 17. The foot spa. I can't wait. 21. 21. <laughs> You've got yourself the foot spa. Well done. <laughs> Two more parts of the puzzle. Let's see if you can solve it. Not a clue. Mm -hmm. It is Not difficult at the moment. Another number. 16. 16. Is a tape card. There goes my pound. <laughs> <laughs> there goes my pound. <laughs> <laughs> You're not too worried at this stage, are you? <laughs> Another number. Um, 18. 18. With the hammer drill, you've still got your quid. You're all right. Would you believe it? Give me a number, Jim. Two and five. 25. 25. One a and eight. hammer drill. 18. 18 is the hammer drill. You won that. <laughs> you do any DIY? Sometimes my well, wife it could insists. come in handy when she insists. Okay, <laughs> two more parts of the puzzle. Let's see if you can solve it. Mm. Not yet. Mm. Okay, another number from you. Two dozen, please. Twenty-four. Twenty-four is a take card. Where was the other one? I don't know. <laughs> Up to you to decide. Number seven. Number seven <laughs> is a wild card. You automatically get the take card. Where is the natural match to that take card? It's under number 16. What that means? Uh, uh, you've lost your foot spa. The foot spa goes. Jim gets the foot spa. Good job with that mountain bike you won before. Okay. And what this means is that we can reveal three more parts of the puzzle. See if you can solve it. Out of time. Another number. It's getting too exciting. <laughs> the pedal peddler's number nine. Number nine. Pedal peddlers, I don't understand that. That's T for two. No. Oh, that's great, isn't it? Number. Which one haven't we had? Two. Number two is a oh. clock. Pearl. Oh. Twenty. Number twenty yeah, is a clock. And two. And two <laughs> is a clock. Very nice clock. Two more parts of the puzzle. Let's see if you can solve it, Carl. No. No? Okay, okay. another number. Twelve. Number twelve. Is a slow cooker. Fifteen. And fifteen? Oh, is tea for two. Jim, back to you. Mm. Number three, please. Number three. Okay. Washing machine. Washing machine. Ah. 23. And 23 is a wild card. Well done. Where's the natural match for that washing machine? It's under number six. So you've got yourself a washing machine. Three more parts of the puzzle we can show you. Can you solve it? Stand or fall in your own two feet. St is it stand or fall in your own two feet? No. You're wow. still in control of the board, Jim. Another mm. number. Mm. Eleven, please. Eleven. A wild card. A match with any prize. Fourteen, please. Fourteen. That is a workbench to go with your hammer drill. Where's the natural match to that workbench? Number four. Just a silver workbench. Three more parts of the puzzle. Can you solve it? Stand on your own two feet. Is it stand on your own two feet? Well done. I will explain to you how Jim uh, solved that puzzle. The arrows are pointing first of all to the stand, so that's stand, and the switch is on. On, stand on, then there's a Y and an OR, stand on your, then there's the HO with the N. Stand on your own, the two and the feet, stand on your own two feet. Well done. Okay, it's time for round three, and I can tell you that we're out of time, ladies and gentlemen. So round three is going to be almost an instant round. We are going to reveal the puzzle to you both. It's hands-on buzzer's time. When you think you know what the puzzle is, press your buzzer. I will ask you if you are correct, then you win this third round. If you're not correct, 
will reveal the whole puzzle to your opponent to see if they can get it. Okay, so start revealing the puzzle now. James Presley's buzzer. The ball is in your court. Yes, it is. <laughs> Very well done, Jim. That was quite quick. I'll explain how he got there to win that round. There's the the, obviously, and then we have several balls. So the balls and he old in. In is what we want. The balls in. The Y and the or, your, and the core with the T. The balls in your court. Well done, Jim. Well, we've got to say to you to do. You've been a lovely contestant. Thank you ever so much. I can tell you the prize that you've got. You've got a fondue set, you've got silk ties, briefcase, you've got an answer phone, and that lovely clock. Thank you. You've been ever so nice. Thank you so much, Pearl. Thank Jim, you. join me now, if you would, for the global game. Well. <laughs> Jim, you've done us ever so well up to now. We want you to do well on this. Yes. Okay? Nice and relaxed. This is how we play the game. We're going to show you a board that has 15 squares. Behind those squares are seven pairs of holiday locations and one rogue square. If you match those seven locations in 45 seconds or less, we will send you to the last place you match for the holiday of a lifetime. Here's the board. You've got 45 seconds from the time you pick your first square. All the very best with this, Jim. Good luck. Thank Off you. you go. One. Two. No match. Three. Four. No match. Five. Three. Match. Six. Seven. No match. Eight. Nine. No match. Ten. One. Match. Eleven. Twelve. Match. Thirteen. Seven. No match. Fourteen. Seven. Match. Fifteen. Nine. No match. Six. Two. Match. Eight. Thirteen. Match. Four. Nine. Did that get you going? It did. Have you any idea where you're going to hold it? Österreich. Austria. Yes. That's right, you've got that <laughs> lovely holiday to Austria. Have a listen to this. Enjoy the delights of fresh air and exercise in this skiing trip of a lifetime. From the sunny nursery slopes for the beginner to the network of excellent pieces for the expert. There's fun for everyone. Relax on your return and enjoy the extensive range of Apres ski. This wonderful holiday is brought to you courtesy of Concentration. A mountain bike and a skiing trip. What could be better? That's lovely. Thank you very much indeed for being a lovely contestant. Thank you. See you again on Concentration. Bob's concentrating again next Saturday at 7. And after the break, a full week's diagnosis in GP Omnibus.